What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Jay's Pokey Stop and welcome back to the channel. So today I went hunting and found this right here. The Pikachu V collection box. But this isn't just your ordinary Pikachu V collection box. Let's dive into today's video and figure out what's actually inside of these. Yeah guys, so uh, welcome back to the channel guys. Um, like I said there in that intro, these must be the new reprints of the Pikachu V box. I've heard a little bit about them, but I didn't know the pack selection was going to be this awesome. So if you guys actually see these out in your store, make sure to check them out and see if they are the new reprints and, and buy them. <laughs> They're a really good pack selection. So uh, before we dive into today's video guys, I want to give a huge shout out to the Uninformed and Unfiltered podcast for letting me come on. And I actually talked about um, kind of how I got into the hobby a little bit, um, kind of just some other information about me and, and the, in the YouTube channel here. And we also told like some of our crazy stories. We had like actually like a ghost story um, that we, uh, me and my two buddies that actually have the podcast um, actually went through and it, it was pretty crazy. So don't miss out on this podcast, guys. I'll leave the link to it in the description below and also a link to their channel in the description below. Really cool dudes. Really funny, have an awesome podcast going. So if you guys want to check it out, make sure to go check the description below. And it, yeah, I, they'll appreciate all the, the love and support as well. So, all right. So the card of the day, let's do this before we start opening stuff. I went ahead and picked Sylveon VMAX from Evolving Skies. This is the alternate art version. And I'll tell you why here in just a second actually right now so <laughs> let's crack this pikachu v box and let's see what packs are actually in here guys i don't remember exactly what packs used to be inside of these but all i know is they got some fire in there now i'll tell you what they got some fire in here there's the promos everyone's seen those the, like i said these have been on the shelves for i mean there's i don't know how many i've seen on the shelves and just walked right past and not even caring about them but today I checked it out and I'm glad I did. So these actually got two brilliant stars packs and two evolving skies, baby. Let's go. Two brilliant stars and two evolving skies. Probably my two favorite sets out of the Sword and Shield uh, era. There's the code card for the box. Um, so how how can I pass up on that? For 1998, I think it, it was the co the cost of it. So it's not terrible. It's not one of those overpriced collection boxes that you've been seeing for like 22 bucks or whatever. These are actually decently priced and look at that pack selection. You can't you can't beat that. And you get a Pikachu promo, so and a Mimikyu promo, I believe. So you can't really beat that. So if you guys are out at your local stores and you see some of those, pick them up and check them out. See what's inside, because they might be worth the $19, $20. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and crack into some brilliant stars here, see if we can't pull some magic. What if we pull that Charizard right now? Sneasel, Bernie, and Sharon's Care, full art. Let's go, first pack magic. Feels good to be back back on the channel, guys, cracking some packs for y'all. Hope y'all hope y'all had a fantastic week. It's time to get the weekend kicked off. In fact, what am I doing? I'm not opening that yet. Cheers to the weekend, guys. And I don't know why I'm drinking a Smirnoff ice. I just am. I think someone left them in my fridge and I seen them in there and I was like, heck with it. I'm going to drink it. But cheers anyway, guys. Hope you all are having a fantastic weekend so far. Wow. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> don't tell anybody I said that. <laughs> all right. We got brilliant stars. Man, I think I see a hit in this one too. Might be seeing things. We got Turtwig, Hair Blast. I definitely see a hit, guys. It looks like a full art. It might be an, an alternate art. Oh, man. Oh, Zamazenta V. My heart was racing, but I, I even passed up the Octillery there. We got a double banger in that pack, guys. Two for two on full arts out of Brilliant Stars for this box. These boxes are fire. Not saying that you're going to get the same pools, but... <laughs> Holy cow, guys. Samus into V4. That's actually pretty sick. I pulled one of these before out of a booster box, but this one's actually like super well-centered. 
Let's sleeve up Sharon's care too real quick before we jump into Evolving Skies. What if Evolving Skies brings the same magic, guys? I sure hope so. Two full arts? That'd be insane. Code card. We got Rog and Rolla. Guys, I see something. And it's a freaking full art. <laughs> what the heck? All right. Avalog and a Rayquaza V full art. Oh my gosh. What the heck are these Pikachu V boxes, guys? What? I was just joking. Oh my gosh. I've not pulled this yet. This is sick. This is my last Rayquaza card I needed from Evolving Skies, and we just pulled it. Let's go. Heck yeah. All right, can we go four for four on full arts out of this box? This is insane. Absolutely insane. <laughs> what in the heck? All right, I'm not expecting anything out of this pack. All right, we've got a Hippopotas, Time Pole, Ludicolo, and a Shiftry. So there we go. That's the first rare that I had to throw down that wasn't a hit. Like, what? What is going on, guys? That was crazy. Check this out again out of that one box. That is nuts. That's why you gotta pick them up, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, there's the Pikachu V box. I did go ahead and purchase a few more packs of Evolving Skies that we can crack open. Um, obviously, still chasing um, that Dragonite V alternate art as well as any of the V Max alternate arts. Um, I'll take, I'll even take the Drought on uh, V Max alternate art. Yeah, Walmart actually had a pretty good restock of Evolving Skies uh, single packs like this. Um, you know, I had to pick some up. I can't resist. I can't resist Evolving Skies. We'll start with five. I did pick up, I think, 15 or so. Um, I did go to two different Walmarts too, so I think I picked five up at one and ten up at the other or something. But uh, yeah, so here's the first five from the first Walmart. Guys, that box was crazy. <laughs> make, make sure to smash a like on this video for that Pikachu box, because that was actually insane. Like, three full arts out of it. That was crazy. All right, let's go ahead and tear open these five Evolving Skies packs and see if I made the right choice on packs today. I already know I made a right choice on that box, but... <laughs> All right, I'll quit talking about it. That was crazy. All right, Wobbuffet, starting this one off here. Swablu, Hypno, and there's some garbage. Garbage V. Uh, it's better than a non-holo or even a holo, so I'm not gonna call it, I will call it garbage, but it's not that bad. Could be worse. All right, Code Card. We got Bee Bass. Scraggy, and that is definitely worse right there. There's the Apple Dragon blowing fire. You know how I feel about that Apple Dragon on this channel. No, but let's, I'll, guys, please go check out that podcast. Like, it was super fun to record. Like, I've never, like, recorded a podcast before. If anybody has or uh, had, has had experience doing something like that leave a comment down below and let me know about it I'd like to hear about it, but that was really cool. Just sitting there just kind of talking and Talking about stuff. I like and, and some of our crazy adventures and it just seemed like it was just us hanging out And then we recorded the whole thing and it was just it was fun. It was cool if You guys want to go check that out? It will be in the description below all right, Evolving Skies treating us like it usually does. We got Cryagonal here. Oh, I see something. It looks like a full art, guys. And Molga. Ooh, Glacian V full art. Let's go. Let's go. I'll take you, Glacian. I thought it was going to be the Sylveon alt art at first. Sylveon V alt art because I haven't pulled that one yet either. Glacian V. Let's go. All right, next pack here. Oh, got a white code card. 
These must be the older, uh, older reprints there. All right, we got Swablu, Fletchling, and a Lycanroc V. All right, y'all, I got some more packs here. I'm gonna crack open a few more. Let's crack open five more. See if we can't pull something else. And then I will call it quits, guys. It's so hard to quit <laughs> quit opening uh, packs when you're having some good, good luck like I am right now. We're getting closer and closer to Silver Temptus, guys. I know Lost Origin just came out, but I'm ready for Silver Temptus. I'm ready to see some Lugia, or Lugia cards for the first time in a long time. I never really got to open up the Sun and Moon, uh, I think it's called Lost Thunder. Never really got to open up that set much, so it'll be nice to see some Lugias, but we did already pull this guy out of Lost Origins. <laughs> If you haven't seen that video either, I will link it in the description below as well if you guys want to check that out. That was crazy. Absolutely crazy. Um, but yeah. Yo, these packs feel weird. I don't know why. They seem like they're like fatter than other packs. Oh well. Let's get into it here. These must be the reprint. No, they're not. Code card. We do got a good code. We got Chin Chow. Petalil, Treasure Energy, and a Wishy Washy. So even with the white code, we did not get a Hollow Rare. Sorry guys, <laughs> that stuff scattered all over the place. Seriously, these packs feel like extra wide. Let me like see what another pack looks like. Yeah, like check those out. I'll lay this one right there. It's like a good half inch wider than these other ones. That is strange. I haven't seen that before. It makes them feel like super, <laughs> I don't even know. Super weird. Code card. We got Bag On. Woo Bat. Stormy Mountains and a Stoutland. Not hollow. Next pack here. Code. Got Time Pole. Braviary and a Gigalith. Man, these packs are harsh. Umbreon on the front. Ooh, ooh, I see something, guys. What do we got here? All right, we got Nicket, Dwebble, Rufflet, Rock and Roller, Wobba Fett, Gossip Fleur, following it up with a Dracazolt V Max. Oh man, I thought it was something crazy. I'll take a Dracazolt V Max though, I guess. <laughs> All right, next pack, y'all. God, this set is so much fun to open. Like, I just can't get, I never get tired of it. You just never know what you're gonna pull. We got Hippopotas, Woobat, and a Wishy Washy. You know what, let's finish these 15 packs off that I bought, heck with it. I'm in the, I'm in the pack opening mood right now. Let's finish it off. Sorry if you guys want me to end the video there. It's not happening. It's just not gonna happen that way, I'm sorry. <laughs> No, but thanks for all the love and support on the channel here recently, guys. It seriously just blows me away. I can't believe people want to sit and watch me open up packs like this. It's such an awesome feeling, such a blessing. Um, and we're on our way to the thousand subscribers, guys. We are getting close. It is crazy. So yeah, we got some more wide packs here and a couple regular. Like, hope you guys could tell the difference there. I, so I, I just I don't understand that. That's weird. Let's go with the wide ones first. Code card right there. We got Feebas, 
Hitmonchan. See something back there? Pikachu Rescue Carrier and a Flareon V Max. Another V Max. Wishing it was an alternate art V Max, but I'll take a V Max. I'll take a V Max. Umbreon on the front here. Yo, these packs like open real weird. All right, code card. We got Hop It. Hitmonchan, Pikachu, double Pikachu, and a Dialga, holo. Seeing double there with the Pikachus. Oh, what's up with my focus here? There we go. Yo, I see something else. So we got another VMAX in here? All right, we got Tentacool. Pikachu, C Dot, Lilypup, Bagon, Lantern, and a Garbodor. Some more garbage. More garbage. Taking out the trash. All right, next pack. Code card. We got C Dot, Gold Duck, and a Smeargle. All right, last pack, y'all. Last pack magic. I think we got something in this one. We got Umbreon on the front. I'm still blown away by that Pikachu V-Box, so I'm going to definitely look for more of those. You guys, I'll tell you again. Check it. Make sure you check the boxes when, in your store when you, if you do find any like that because they might have Brilliant Stars in the Bowl with Skies in them. All right, y'all. We got Cryagonal. What are we going to end on here? We got Petlil. Make sure we're going to focus here. Finish this off. Bergmite, Drowsy, Scraggy, Copycat, and a Gyarados B. We got we got quite a bit of hits. Our hit hit ratio is pretty decent out of the packs we picked out. Um, uh, we opened up 15 packs and we got like six like decent hits there. Two V Maxes, four regular Vs. And we got the full art Glaceon B out of the 15 packs. So that's not bad. I've seen a lot of people. I've, I honestly, I opened up like 36 packs and barely got anything. Um, and then out of that freaking Pikachu box, guys, we pulled the Ray Ray V full art and Zamazenta V full art. Like, that was crazy. That was an awesome box. So. That pretty much wraps up today's video, y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, hope you all have a fantastic weekend. And we will see you next time here on Jay's Pokestop.